just a bloke in a bar. What's up, guys? Welcome to another Bloke Reacts. This week, we are reacting to the big fella, Balance Tafare. Now, don't forget, the first month of the rugby league season, we, myself, Timmy, Matty the Waterboy, and Guru are traveling live shows in the country. We're going to Armadale, Wagga, Rockhampton, Cairns. So keep most likely each Friday free if you're from one of those areas, and we will be doing live shows at a pub. But let's get straight into it. The big fella, Balance Tafare, met him the other night. Whoo, he's thick. Have a look at him. Now, the good thing about these highlights is this kid should play NRL in the next season or so. He's 22 years old, from New Zealand. Look at the big boy. Look at him move. Wow, he's thick. So he's from New Zealand. He actually grew up playing rugby. He's only really played 14 or 15 games of rugby league. Far out, he can move for a big fella. Decent pass too. Decent pass. I mean, I know it's a small thing, but, you know, like how often do we see outside backs get into the open and they... Watch the pass. Boos! Oh my god, he must be a nightmare to tackle. Jeez, he moves well for a big fella. Oh, get off me, son! Bit of a character too, which is great. Good on Osa. So, in his first year in Queensland Cup, he averaged six tackle breaks a game. Look at the speed of the big fella! Oh, <laughs> that fullback didn't want none of that. I mean, this is... When you see a guy as big as this, as fast as this, with footwork, what's on the outside? Surely not, son. Oh, my God. Surely not. Holy. How? How did the big fella do it? Oh. Uh, he averaged six tackle breaks a game in Q Cup and 145 meters. I mean, this kid is a boost. Oh, make the tackle, la. Uh. He just must be so tough in contact. Look at that. He carried the one over. Literally carried the one over. And this is all Queensland Cup, guys. So this is just under NRL. This is not, you know, local league or whatever or young fellas. Boom. End. I mean, there's a reason why there's a lot of raps on this, this uh, young fella, Balance Tafare. Uh, debut, on his debut in Q Cup, he played center and scored twice. 12 tries in 14 games last year. 85 tackle breaks, which is six a game. I mean, imagine him with a first grade preseason, how good this guy's going to be. Where is the big... There he is. Boss, that fend. And his explosiveness as well. He's going to be a problem. Like, if his defensive reads are all good, like, we, we can clearly see physically he's, you know, ready to go. Uh, Strength-wise, all there. Now, it's just all, like, defensively, if his reads are good, like, there's no reason why this kid can't be playing first grade and lock down a full-time spot by the end of this season. Oh, sir. The big fella. Oh, he's, he's amped up, the big fella. Mate, imagine being a fullback and seeing this bloke run at you like that. Holy. Thanks to uh, Queensland Cup for these highlights. Anyway, we'll go through it. Great overs line and the way he straightens up there as well. These are all like little subtle details that he's only going to get better at. You know, he's only going to get better at understanding the space on the field, the space between defenders, and his ability to move and swerve at high speeds for how... I mean, he'd have to be over 100 kilos. There'd, there'd be... Surely. Look at this. So who's... That's a, that's a winger chasing him. That was a winger that that's, you know, quite uh, lean chasing him that couldn't catch him just then. Oh, 13. Put your shoulder into it, son. Nah. Look at that. Boom. And, and the crazy thing about a guy like this is he's only really played 14 games of rugby league. Look at that unders line. Great. Oh, straight over. Bus. Um, it is exciting. It, like a guy, an outside back like this can consistently break games open because they're so hard to tackle. Look at that. Look at that footwork and the ability to, ex, you know, explode again. We're not talking about a, a, a small center. We're talking about a big fella. Look at this. Again. Now, a lot of people, I'll go back a little bit. A lot of people will focus on the strength of this and 100%. Like, the, there's no denying, like, strong as anything. But the, what's more important, what's more impressive is, look, so he takes a scoot, comes, so his footwork is there. But then look at this, his ability to explode again. Those three guys absolutely should have caught him. But because his first few meters is so impressive for a big fella, he can do things like this. Oh, man. Put your shoulder into it. And look, that's that's a 
That's a winger. And that's a small winger that didn't catch him just then. Incredible. And he's got a great mullet just to top her all off, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mate, imagine being this fullback going, oh, shit. Fullback, fair effort here. But Lewis literally drags, literally drags a fullback over. I mean, again, like, okay, he'll, he'll be good this season. He'll be probably good this season, barring injury. But imagine with two or three preseasons in first grade, what this guy is going to be able to do. And on top of that, at 22 years old, he'll probably start in the centers. He'll probably end up either on the edge or in the you know forward pack somewhere. Really, really impressive. Just that strength in contact and that explosiveness. Just impressive. Bose. And again, just a reminder, like this is Queensland Cup highlights, guys. This is look at that. Wow. He must be an absolute nightmare to defend. Explosive, strong. Leg drive, great in contact. Can pass, like we've seen him pass. He's not like his passing is terrible. <clears throat> great try, the big fella. Getting back to 10 4. So it'll be interesting to see. I'd, I'd assume, I'd assume that they'll probably start with a first grader that's played before in the centers, maybe you and Aiken and someone else, but maybe Oliver Gildart. But I would be surprised if. I would be very surprised if by the end of the season he hasn't played at least four or five NRL games. Players like this are just game breakers. They are absolute game breakers. And sometimes, like, how many teams in the comp right now, they've got a good forward pack, they've got good halves or whatever it is, but they just don't have that game-breaking outside back. This is what Valence can be, is a game-breaking outside back. So really, really exciting. And it may be one of those typical Wayne Bennett finds where he just plucks someone out of, out of nowhere and then he turns them into something special. So I am really, really excited. I'd be shocked if he doesn't debut this year. When it comes to week in, week out, that's probably 2024 where he may lock down a spot week in, week out. Uh, but mate, very exciting. And he's only going to get better, fitter, faster, stronger, all that good stuff. But as usual, guys, that's Bloke Rats done for the week. And I'll see you next week.